Today I'll be talking about an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction, in this case, a friedel crafts alkylation. In the general reaction, you'll take an aromatic compound and substitute this hydrogen with the R group of an alkyl halide, and you'll react it with a Lewis acid, in this case, aluminum trichloride, giving you a substituted aromatic ring with a byproduct of hydrogen chloride. Now I'll be talking about a specific example of a friedel crafts alkylation. Beginning with benzene, one could treat it with tert-butyl chloride and aluminum trichloride to yield a substituted benzene compound, specifically tert-butyl benzene, with a byproduct of hydrogen chloride. In the general mechanism of a friedel crafts alkylation, a lone pair from an alkyl halide will attack the aluminum of aluminum trichloride, giving you a Lewis acid-Lewis base complex. Heterolysis will occur between the R group and halide group, giving you a carbocation and a counterion. The pi electrons of an aromatic compound will attack the carbocation, giving you a resonance stabilized arenium ion. The counterion, which also acts as a Lewis base, a lone pair from that molecule, will deprotonate the arenium ion, giving returning electrons to the ring, regenerating aromaticity, giving you a substituted aromatic compound. Then the counter protonated counter ion will dissociate, giving you hydrogen halide and aluminum trichloride. In conclusion, the classic friedel crafts reaction was discovered in the 19th century, specifically in the year 1877, and is credited to Charles Friedel and James Crafts. The utility of this reaction is to take an unsubstituted aromatic compound and turn it into an su alkyl-substituted aromatic compound.